Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony management simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and welcome back to Twitchy's Tremendous Trojans, a rock that I have packed full of patrons and other stream members. Uh, last time we went around and we were working mainly on this cold water system, and during that time we realised that we might actually have a bit of a problem with the storage compactor down below. We've been storing our polluted ice, our polluted uh, and our normal ice and snow in there, and it turns out that that gets a little bit warmer than freezing there. So we're going to move uh, the stuff, the ices and the polluted ices and such frozen waters as that to that storage compactor up there that has just been built. Another thing that we spent most of last time doing was trying to build this natural gas generator down to the bottom left of my base uh, so we're going to try and prioritize that up and one thing that I want to do now that we have taken on a whole a bunch of other duplicates is get some more farmland in place because that is something that just needs to happen so we make sure that people uh, don't uh, starve inside the, the uh, grey water tank if you will we bottom tank is absolutely full and is trying to just at the moment kill all the germs that are on the water that we have there. It's going to take a few cycles. They have something like 10,000 germs in every uh, single tile of water that's a no a big a problem uh, there one of the dear one of the duplicates that are being offered to us is a tidy and operate person i'm like yes these are both the jobs i want thank you very much we're gonna welcome a cubic to the new uh, barracks how you doing buddy welcome uh, to uh, the group uh we are now also moving uh, lots of ice and snow and stuff like that from uh, the cold biome down to just on top of our water because we're starting to run out of water and until that ger those germs die off from just being on natural nice clean fresh water uh, and then we can pump it through the cold and get it into our, our water tank we're, we're just going to be waiting on extra water there one of the things that i have just set up all the research for is to get a little bit of the ranching done first thing we need to do of course is finish off the last time's research of the conductive wiring and then we're going to move on to ranching because it wasn't shadow who else did we get involved uh, i'm afraid of whoever it was i forget uh, but the the rancher person it was hollywood it was Hollywood. The, the rancher has got themselves leveled up now. They've done enough random farming that we can start getting them moving people around. Talking of moving people around, we are down at this natural gas generator watching Brum, Captain Subs, Zedtech, and all the others start work on making the pipes connected and getting the basic uh, basic utilities in place to run a natural gas generator. Another thing that I'm doing is kind of setting the scene for Tommy and anyone else that joins along on the janitor crew because there's a lot of stuff on the floor and we want to deal with that so I start getting everything tidied. Get used to looking at this water tank. We are going to look, come back and look at it at least once per cycle just to make sure that the germs are going in the direction that we want them to and yes, they are very much so. You can see there is even water flowing from this cold water tank now that has reached the uh, critical temperature of 10 degrees and is being pumped back into my main water tank. So technically, our water recycling system is completely finished. I know, I know, we've been working on it since the word go, but it's completely fit. I say completely finished, we still want to put a whole load of sensors in there and automate the process so we don't have to worry about people coming along and throwing levers and stuff to get the water valves working. Uh, one thing we've got is ZTech going around doing a dig whilst everybody else is going around doing a build. Now this shouldn't be too much of a problem. The two two jobs should synergize together pretty nicely. Unfortunately, ZTech. Uh, has got some dig errands where other people do not have uh, some builds, or in fact the, the, the guys have builds where there are not digs. So I put down those flat, those farm plots at the top of my base, and of course nothing needed digging there. So whilst uh, the other guys, Brum, Sir Steve, Shroudcus, such forth, uh, went and did the farm up at the top, Zedtech kind of came down here and started digging, and you can see that I've might have a little bit of a problem if he continues on because there are na there is natural gas under super high pressure well i say super high pressure there is five five kilograms to every to every tile there and the uh chlorine atmosphere that's in the natural gas uh, generator area here is only about 100 grams per tile so if we crack through to that side we will flood ourselves with natural gas just because of like you know laws of diffusion and pressure balances and stuff like 
that. Looking inside this water tank, I realise I need some sort of better way of working out half-lives. Much like radioactive decay, the uh, germs inside, oxygen not included, have will only give you like how long it takes for half of them to dissipate. And obviously with like 10,000 germs in two days, that's like 5,000 germs, but that's in one day, it's 7,000, something like that. Uh, so I, I don't know. And then when it gets down to about 700, it then goes through a rapid uh, die-off sequence. So I need I, I need to plan that. And I don't know how to... Like, it's 10, 10 to 5 is 2 days. 5 to 2 and a half is 4. 2 and a half to 1 and 3 quarters. <laughs> That's not quite right, is it? It's 1 and a quarter, something like that. 1 and a third. Uh, that is... Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8 days. It's going to take about... Tw uh, tw 10 days, 12 days for everything to die out. Just just roughly, maths in my head. I'm sure that's totally wrong, but that, that's what we got going there. But of course, the, is that how Half-Lives work? Yeah, that is exactly how Half-Lives all work. One of the things that I have done as well is to go around and double check all the deodorizers. You can see that we've made great strides in being able to make the air clean and breathable inside of the base. But there are a few places still that linger, uh, have a little bit of slime lung inside them. Thankfully though, we've got to the point where people People are not contracting slime lung just walking around the base. Uh, there are various areas still available in the asteroid to, collect, to go and get uh, slime lung and quite often we have end up with the dream team going out and doing so but you know that's that's all part and parcel of what's going down here. Zedtech managed to get himself stranded on top of what is going to be our ranching facility. Uh, thankfully I managed to change the the, the ladders into local materials so Zedtech could actually fix it himself rather than having to wait for someone else to come along and uh, you know if people have to wait for other people ends up with them peeing everywhere ne never a, never a great one never a great one I also went ahead and put down some orders to wall off all the slime that exists down below uh, welcome a ruby to the group that's another uh, tidy and operate I think I will have to go in through and double check the uh, the actual skills there but I very much put Ruby onto the janitorial team because man we do need to get stuff done uh, there's also a lot of operators on board I, I'm trying to take uh, as many operators as possible because there seems to be a lot of operation jobs that just don't seem to get done now I do know that I have an awful lot of hamster wheels around and I understand that they do take the operators times pretty strongly also swapping Zedtech from a miner to an architect it is something that he also has uh, affinity for something that he is quick at so it's not like I'm uh, taking him away from a job he loves and putting him in a job that he hates no it's two jobs that he loves but it's just to keep him um, keep him from tunneling through into the natural gas you can see there uh, what I'm trying to do is use the tiles to keep the natural gas at bay uh, there's going to be a much much more convoluted method of keeping those at bay later on but right now I'm kind of looking around the map because I keep hearing weird noises I keep hearing weird noises I'm wondering whether there's some sort of geyser or something like that hidden behind a tile but I keep like dragging out a, a dig command and normally when you do that if there is a geyser hidden hidden behind the rock it won't actually allow you to dig it which is a, a little strange but maybe that's the neutronium that I'm thinking of maybe I do need to just go and dig uh Dig, dig wildly. I'm looking. I'm looking to the top right of my screen there, and I think I might actually have a little case of neutronium there. I'm, I'm actually going to have to go and have a look in my game right now. I will. I will be back in a sec, guys. Or instantly. I mean, either one works. But look, yes, it really is neutronium. So at some point in the next episode or two, I'm going to have to go and find out what that's all about. Who knows what's going to be back there? We need to like surround it with some doors, put a wall around it, and make sure that we are super safe because who knows what could come. Spin out. Uh, so whilst I was doing that, there was also a whole bunch of ranching stuff being installed up top. And I'm not sure exactly what animals I want to get. Now, I'm fairly sure I want to get a hatch because having a, a, a ready source of coal is actually pretty good. And I'm wondering if there's any animals I want to get just for food. Is there anything that I want to grow just for the meat? And I'm not sure what would work there. I don't know. Are morbs good good for food? Uh, the the, the, the pichu fish? They, they might be a good idea as well. Brum, unfortunately, coming down with a little case of slime lung there not a big problem though because we have the med bay set up and ready to go for them so right now what I'm doing up in the top left of my natural gas generator you can see that I've gone ahead and brought up all the tiles I'm trying to make a, a seal against that natural gas and then slowly push it back tile by tile using the corners because duplicates can make and build through a corner
corner but the gas won't flow out that way so it's uh, quite a handy a little exploit if you will to be able to uh, go through and do the work like this you can see uh, once I've built that diagonal line I then get the next diagonal line built and cancel all the way up or uh, cancel deconstruct all the way up to expose the next set of lines and slowly but surely we should be able to push ourselves a nice rectangular room out and uh, make, make a nice little workable space for the gas pump so that we can pump the ga natural gas from there to the power and then at some point I've actually got to run the power from from that gas generator up to all my batteries and stuff. Now, the reason that I've been buying all these operates, or uh, like letting the operates in to our uh, asteroid here, is because of the liquid valve. There was a there's a liquid valve uh, on the water filter that enables it to split off into the two directions to the two tanks and it turns out that a duplicate is needed to throw that switch no problem it's not the not not the biggest problem uh, apart from for some reason no duplicates no matter what the priorities of anything want to come along and throw that switch i have many duplicates on high priority for operate and all the all the operates that I can find, the, the hamster wheel, the switches, the other than the valve itself that I'm talking about, are all on nice low priorities. And that valve that I'm talking about, really high on priority, but still no duplicates will come along. So anyway, you can see that up in the top left, we have done and finally finished the... Uh, the input chamber at some point i'm going to rip down that left hand wall so that the gas does a flow and then we're going to have a door blocking the entrance until eventually it does take in all the all the natural gas and then we can send a scientist in there to go and like do do one of those analyze things and find out what's going on and when it's going to go on and all that type of stuff Okay, final tiles going in. I'm still still kind of concerned about that, that water valve there. You can see work errand is assigned, and they're just not doing it. That work errand has been assigned for literal episodes now. Uh, it's been there since we first swapped over from the old tank to the new tank. Uh, and the fact that it didn't get, thro uh, get thrown is the reason why we have tank uh, oxygen in our... Not oxygen, sorry. Have slime lung in our old tank. It, it, it's all just a whole whole storm of uh, problems coming from that one valve at some point i'm probably going to get annoyed with it and just rip it down but right now i'm trying to make it work landstrider makes his way into the base and he is actually one of the more capable duplicates that we have uh doing tie dig errands it was there was a whole lot of stuff that he did there i may have actually got the list of jobs wrong there but you know he did a whole a bunch of jobs and it's always nice to have a really versatile duplicate on board the new farm seemed to be settling in a well uh, and no research is actually going down until we get everything assorted with the stuff that we have now you can see that i've got some slime in that tunnel down below and i really want to get that covered up so we're not like venting more polluted oxygen the problem with polluted oxygen for those of you that don't remember from last time is the fact that slime lung will breed on polluted oxygen and keep its numbers up whereas on a regular oxygen it will die so that's something that i've been trying to do is make sure all the slime is covered up so it can't vent any polluted oxygen now obviously there is polluted water every Everywhere and this vents polluted oxygen so these are all things that I need to be get on got on top of but then you know that's why I've got the janitorial team so they can come around and take care of the stuff like that hopefully one of the highest priority jobs that they actually have is moving the bottles of polluted water to the polluted water dump site that we built a little while ago so the containment seems to be pretty spiffing on my natural gas generator here it's definitely the, the, the way that we want it to work and we're just waiting for a final a few items to get put in into place down below you can see there are a few balm lilies there i've been trying to keep their environment like workable but as as it is the duplicates have been coming on breathing out their carbon dioxide for some reason carbon dioxide heavier than chlorine i, I don't know if that's actually true irl or not I, I don't know the relative densities of chlorine and carbon dioxide but the carbon dioxide jump drops down below the chlorine in this situation and when your plants are growing on the bottom layer well then that pushes all the chlorine out of the way and those balm lilies aren't growing which is a bit of a bit of a shame I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that. Maybe I'll drop a carbon scrubber in there or something like this. It's really full of stuff. Maybe I'll just start pumping car uh, start pumping chlorine in there until it can't support any carbon dioxide or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'd really like to get that little biome, uh, that little planty area down below uh, up and running. It's one of the uh, shames about moving the... 
uh, moving the ranching equipment into my base. If you have a look just above, oh, here we go. Big, big wires being put in place just to connect everything up to the same network. But if you have a look where the ranching is being put in, uh, there was actually a small collection of like a dozen blocks or so that had like some oxalite and some millwood. And it was just this nice little primordial diorama of like what the temperate zone looked like before like we moved in and started ripping it to pieces uh but you know progress must move on and so we are going to destroy it oh i feel bad uh, we're going to destroy it and capture all the animals put them in a small room make them do what we need them to do oh we are such environmentalists yes <laughs> So one of the things you might notice is that I'm also trying to build some exosuit uh, stations and lockers and stuff like that in the airlock. It's a little premature, if I'm to be honest with you. Not only do we not actually have the exosuits built, but I'm not sure of the flow system. I'm not sure whether I want to, for instance, rip down the airlock that is on the side of the med bay so that they can only go through the bottom bit there. I don't exactly have a decent system of metal preparation. I don't exactly have any way of dealing with oil either and these are all probably things that i should do before the exosuit though the exosuit and the oil i think they're probably the other way around so that i can have sort of prote temperature protection because most oils uh i think are like 80 degrees plus that's pretty hot i'm not sure if you guys are aware of this that that's uh that, that's pretty close to deadly for duplicates i should imagine if it's not close to deadly for duplicates then um yeah, then that's going to be great. I might have to do some experiments at some point when we have a series of uh, increasing temperature rooms with a bunch of one-way doors on them and we just, like, let a duplicate wander in and see at what point they succumb. That, that might be a plan. Like, the last one's just full of lava. Uh, the first one's full of ice. And then we'll just kind of work work our way through and find the, the right area. I don't, I don't know. It'd be nice to know those sort of bounds. I'm fairly sure if I went looking, we could find that on the wiki possibly maybe i'm not sure so there you can get, see a good actual layout of my ranching area up there as i say up at the moment all i'm thinking of getting is to get the hatches and maybe some slicks but if i get the slicksters then i need to figure out a way of collecting all my carbon dioxide and pumping it in there instead and then a way of like draining the oil out and processing that that might be a little bit of a, a room to make you basically just put a slickster inside a like a, a, the equivalent of one of my water tanks but instead of having the liquid in you have a carbon dioxide oxide in and you just flood that in and then you have a water pump on the side and then there's the, the like a liquid pump shall we say and as the slickster produces more and more oil uh you just suck it out with the liquid pump yeah that might be that might be a plan we might actually have a go with uh, that so we are down to literal the last moments with this natural gas generator here you can see there are only only a few uh, wires to put back in place but there is also a little bit of a problem uh i haven't got it shown right now but my metal ores we are all but out by this before we finish this little line here we're going to be told that three of them three and only three are missing the required materials to make them thankfully we still have a little bit of copper at the very top of the base you can see that the build orders are in place up there and they are ones that i want to be ripped down so we're going to swap zed back to his favorite 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 job he's going to be the top level miner that we can possibly have and he's going to go around and do some digging i think that's one of the things that he loves to do unfortunately well or fortunately whichever way you look at it he needs to come out and deal with this sort of water trap area first the reason that he needs to come and deal with it is because it's abyssalite and he is the only guy who can dig abyssalite i don't think i've actually got anybody else trained up high enough to be able to do that so maybe we should do that maybe we should like move someone like brahm or sir steve uh, sir steve's kind of like dig uh, a research and operate but so but someone who's on the going outside team uh we should try and drain uh try and train them up in the mining but yes you saw just down there or at least i did in a flash of a frame that the heavy wire does not have all the required materials but it's, it's not the biggest problem it's really not the biggest problem things are going down and being done for some reason zed finds himself down below i should imagine that was just to dig out the little area that was left and there we go finally zed has got his proper dig on uh, the other things that are going on are the uh, slime distillery room is slowly being filled in i'm over and ahhing about whether to put a door or just leave a gap in and i'm gonna go for a gap actually uh sir no 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 captain subs going in and doing the works to clear the whole area out need to select for the natural gas and i'm like hmm why is this not working there's no power flowing here why is there no power oh I, I didn't hook up those little bits to the system no big problem well i mean there was a little bit of a problem there a little bit of a problem that i didn't notice until uh, people worked their way down turns out i've built this wire out of wolframite don't know 
why must have just been the material that I had the most of uh, which um, you know I'm cool with that I'm cool with that but you know Wolframite is generally one of these things that you like to save for high thermal conductivity reasons uh, because that is kind of like the be the thing that it does best at it melts nice and easy but it's a super resistant uh, super easy to move the temperature through that's it well anyway the uh, natural gas is flowing and we finally have power going into the batteries I'm very tempted to turn them off at this point because I feel like they're just gonna drain the gas and it's not gonna go anywhere and I'm not really using it but with that I'm gonna say thank you very much for joining for this adventure ladies and gentlemen I will see you next time where mainly we're gonna find out what that neutronium deposits about it could be any type of geyser or oil well or anything I don't know I'm hoping for water but we will go and find out but I will see you then when we're gonna do that Bye!